guys, it's your girl Hey Neezy. Uh, I broke my camera, haha. <laughs> and I also cut all my hair off. Um, I don't like it either. I mean, like, I did like it, and then everybody was like, I don't like it, so now I don't like it. This is gonna be a different video. I've never done a video like this before. I don't like this setup. I usually do not do videos like this. Like, this is gonna be really weird to edit and, like, make. But yesterday I went to the mall, and I bought a bunch of clothes. And now I wanna, like, put them on and, like, show you, and... I always watch these videos and I really enjoy them, so I want to try this. And everything that I bought, I will try to link in the description. Because whenever I'm watching videos and I see all this cute stuff that these people are buying and then I don't know like where it's from or what the shirt is called or whatever, it really makes me angry. So um, I'm going to link everything in the description in the order that I went. So yeah, I'm going to try to. We'll see. I did a whole bunch of stuff yesterday. I vlogged half of it. I actually went and I got my cartilage changed because the bar that they gave me was way too short and it was swelling around the bar, so good stuff. But I went to two different malls and I really needed school clothes because whenever I went back to school shopping before school, it was still super hot out, it was still summer, so I bought a bunch of summer stuff that I can't wear to school and my school is literally a jail, so you know, can't wear anything that you want to wear. I really want to make a video on that, but I feel like I'll get expelled and that'll just make me look bad. So just know that my school is a prison. First, I went looking for homecoming shoes at DSW, but I couldn't find any because my dress is maroon and my boyfriend's wearing navy, so I can't wear black, so I have to wear gold shoes, and I can't find any gold shoes, so, um, that's where we're at. I bought these moccasins because they're super cute, okay, and my moccasins, if you know me, they are beat. So, I figured it was time for a new pair. This inside feels like, like, so good. You have no idea. They were really cheap, actually. I was really surprised. Then I headed out to the mall because DSW is right next to the mall. And I don't know what is going on with, like, style today or whatever, but American Eagle is my store. Like, I buy everything that I own from American Eagle. Like, everything that I wear. American Eagle. I have went in there and came out with absolutely nothing that I like from that store recently. I went before school started, found absolutely nothing in there. At the mall that's closest to my house, I literally found absolutely nothing in that store that I liked. Everything is $50 in that store. A flannel is $50. A pair of jeans is $50. No, a pair of jeans actually is 60-something. These are really that good though. I'm a very plain person. I like everything blank. I like plain t-shirts, plain jeans plain leggings. I've really not been able to get anything in there. Everything says like, oh honey. Like, it's turning into Forever 21. All of their flannels have like stupid sayings on the back. Like, it'll have a few embroidered like roses and stuff and then it'll say like, today's a good day. Like, no it's not. I'm wearing this flannel because today is not a good day. I'm wearing this flannel because I have nothing else to wear. So no, today is not a good day. So yeah, went into American Eagle. Literally found nothing in the entire store that I liked at the mall that's close to my house. So I went over to Victoria's Secret, and that store is also a hit or miss. They come out with some weird stuff, and then I'm like, wow, I can't come back here for another month until they come out with new stuff. But, <laughs> if you know me, my boyfriend plays hockey, and he plays for this one team, and their colors are this white, and then teal, and then their away jerseys are black, right? And I don't have a hoodie for his team, and I really wanted to get one, but I don't know how to order one, and it's just like a really rough time. So, I found this hoodie, and... Oh my god, it's like literally the exact colors as this team. And it's a crop hoodie. I love their crop hoodies from there because their normal hoodies are way too long for me and I can't like tuck them into my leggings or anything. It's just, it's a really rough time overall. So yeah, I found this hoodie there. Super cute. I love the colors. Like, I think that this is just a good combination of colors, you know? So, uh, yeah, there's that. Then I found this hoodie that has flowers on the sides and it just says pink on the front. And it's a full size hoodie, and I just got done saying how much I don't like those. But I'm really feeling like the roses on everything. Like I really like that. Like that's the new thing, and I'm I'm feeling it. Like keep doing what you're doing. That's probably like a couple months out of date because that was a real big thing during the summer. But it, it's my favorite. Like I think that it's so cute, and like just like this with a pair of like black leggings. Like oh, oh look. Then we parked in J C Penney's, and on the way out. <laughs> I saw this shirt <laughs> that says, thanks for nothing, and it has a little slit up at the top, and I think that this is the cutest thing ever, like, I don't want to wear it out, like, to school or anything, because everybody's like, what the heck, but, like, 
just to bed or like if my man's coming over and we're not doing anything like it's just like a cute oversized tee and I really like it I think that it's super cute also I forgot to mention at pink if you spend like a certain amount of money then you get a water bottle and then inside the water bottle there's socks which is like you know that's, that's a little weird but uh I need socks so I was like sweet and it's a pretty big water bottle and I think that like that's a good thing that they do. Like whenever they give away water bottles, like thank you. I don't know how this works. Do I push that? Oh. So after completely striking out at Robinson Mall, I couldn't find anything for homecoming. Like just not a good time, you know. I went over to Southside and I got my cartilage changed. That was a whole experience. That's not what this video is about, but let me not tell you because that's not what this video is about. It was just not a good time. I'm not gonna get into it, but it was just not a good time. Hurt really bad, like zero out of 10 recommend. But then I went over to another mall that's like further away from my house. If you live in Pittsburgh, you know, like Ross Park Mall. It has a larger selection of stores that I like. Like Robinson Mall is kind of like small, I would say. But Ross Park is where it's at. And you know, I went in free people. I hate free people to be quite honest. Like, like, I'm not even going to talk about free people anymore because they just really irk my nerves. I went over to the American Eagle in Ross Park Mall and I found two things. Each were $50, which was ridiculous, which I, oh, 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 oh my god, it's really annoying. Like, everything used to be $20. Do you remember that? Whenever everything was like 20 bucks, and now it's all like 50 bucks. Like, it's 150 for a whole outfit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, please don't, please, like, I am a 16 year old making money off of YouTube. I don't have a job. I don't have a car. I don't have like a life. Like, what? How do you expect me to buy an outfit when it's $150? Like, that's an entire year of like checks. Okay, I'm not gonna like talk about that. But like, mm. I got these plain black joggers and I really like these. I walked out of the dressing room and my mom was like, eh, but I was like, girl, like, I got cake in these. Like, I don't know. I just really like them. I think that they're super cute. And, um,. I feel like you could wear these with a lot of stuff. You can either like dress it up or dress it down. It's good stuff. You really can't dress this up at all, but okay. Then I got this blue flannel because I know that I just went over like flannel, like I have nothing to wear, but I really do love wearing flannels. Like I feel like you can do a lot with them and it's just, it's a good look. I think the flannels are cute. I own way too many. Like I own a flannel in like every color. I have like a red one and I have a light blue one and I have a gray one and then now I have a dark blue one. But I love royal blue. It's like my new favorite thing, like peep my toes. <sighs> And last but not least, I have a lot to say about these. I have a lot to say about these. Lululemon. Thanks. They became really popular in my school, like, last year. And I always thought, that's absolutely ridiculous. $98 for a pair of leggings? $98 to make your butt look good? Yes. $98 to make your butt look good. Like, girlfriend, let me tell you. Or boyfriend. Like, I don't... What? Okay. I don't judge. At first, I frowned upon these. I was like, wrong. Who would do that? Why would you spend $98 of your hard working money just for a pair of leggings that you can get at JCPenney's for $19.99? I was like, absolutely ridiculous, appalling, quite frankly. I usually just get like the Arizona ones, like if I'm just wearing like a casual outfit, like I just wear like regular leggings. I did not like these. I thought they were stupid. I thought they were pointless. Until I saw a girl who had no butt, none, nothing flat, wearing a pair of Lululemon leggings. And her ass was like, I was like, excuse me? Come again? Like how? Excuse me? So like imagine a girl with like a butt wearing these, right? Okay, and then like a girl with a butt did wear these and then I was like, holy shit, her ass looks better than it did before. So I think that like there's a secret in these and I don't know what it is I don't know if it just like stimulates the like muscle in your butt that makes your butt look bigger or if it's just the way that they fit but I knew that I needed a pair of these and I looked everywhere to find them cheaper I was like there has to be a place where they're not $98 but there wasn't there was no place so I went over to Lululemon and I went into their changing room and I put on a size 2 and my ass looked phenomenal as you will see in this video but yeah this was like straight quality I was so impressed with these like these will probably be my new favorite pair like I really want to wear them all the time um but you know I can't like wear them like days in a row that's kind of gross and weird 
but they fit so well like it's totally I wouldn't say worth $98 because you know they're not paying my taxes for me and they're not feeding me food but like they really do a lot you know they're like really stretchy they don't even feel like you're wearing pants they're just so like lightweight it's not even like they're squeezing you it's just so lightweight and like you know that you look good as hell wearing them because you paid $98 for them so they better make you look good as hell but yeah, I just really wanted to milk this video. I didn't get that much. I didn't really want to get that much. I don't really need that many clothes. I have two closets full of clothes. Like, I think I'm good. I just, I love shopping. And I really wanted a pair of those for a really long time. And I'm so excited that I finally got a pair. I am happy with what I got. I hope you enjoyed watching me try on things. Everything will be linked in the description if I possibly can. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a vlog channel now, and I probably have a new vlog up right now, so you should go watch it, check it out. I'll link it in the description with the other stuff that I link in the description. <laughs> but once again, one more time, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment on, like, whatever you want. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go try all this stuff on now so I can, like, make an overlay and put it in the video. <laughs> Girl Scout.